an officer who was on trial uh, for the killing of an unarmed black man who had been in a car accident, had been seeking help, and when the police arrived, they claimed that he rushed them. They opened fire, the man died, and now the news is on your screen. The jury has deadlocked. They went into deliberations on Tuesday on this case. The officer, Randall Carrick, facing extraordinarily serious charges in this case, but some of the evidence uh, was very pro-defense, some of the evidence very pro-prosecution. This was a very difficult deliberation for this jury. Um, in fact, I can tell you this, that the autopsy um, really did point towards the officer's story, but the police in this case did not back the officer, uh, as one might think, specifically with that kind of uh, with that kind of evidence. This is the dash cam video. You can see as the victim, Jonathan Farrell, comes into the dash cam. I'm going to stop. Ultimately, that is the sound of those shots being fired over and over again. This is a voluntary manslaughter trial. I want to bring in Danny Savellas, one of our CNN legal commentators and contributors. So, look, a deadlock jury is not a failure of the system by any means. But take me forward in the process what the options are now. Well, there are a number of different charges depending on the judge, and you want to try and get the jury back in to deliberate. They might even deliver down the road what's called an Allen charge, which most defense attorneys, we don't like these so much because the idea is if you force a jury to make a decision, they may make a decision that is bad for your client. If they end up deadlocking, if it's a hung jury, then your client gets another day in court. So if you like the idea of a tie for, as a defense attorney, you don't necessarily want that Allen charge. You don't want them to be forced to deliberate.